So, so I, I have, I, I've, I have proposed, and and I'm not the only person to propose such a thing. Of course, people have done this before. Uh, a continuum of cognition. This continuum is uh, defined by uh, different types of um, uh, d- different different uh, capabilities with respect to how you control it. And I can just des- I can describe uh, what the continuum is. But the point is that it it's it's a very um, sort of functionalist uh, cybernetic kind of definition. It's very engineering based. It does not uh, care at all what the system is made of or how, or or its origin story. So whether you were designed, whether you were evolved, whether you came from a factory or you you evolved naturally on some planet somewhere, or uh, what you're made of makes no difference for for the purposes of this kind of framework. What matters is what kind of cognition you have. So so along the continuum, as I was saying before, you might have. And, and and it's all it's all really about if I'm an engineer or, or uh, some other observer and I want to interact with the system, what is the most efficient way for me to do that? So it might be a system that's way on the left of the continuum. It might be like um like a like a mechanical clock. So it's a piece of physics. Uh, if you want to change what it does, you can rewire it. You can physically change the hardware, but that's it. 